Roger limbering up for the new HFT season there and for the new ABC of HFT. Roy is giving his rats a run for their money and Jamie has gun lust. Welcome to Airheads. people say to me, right, I'm doing HFT now, do I have to be supple? And I say, no, you don't have to be supple. There's no reason to be. I'm not, I'm terrible. I only wish I was. <laughs> it's just a... <sighs> yeah, I'm the same as anyone else. <sighs> right, so you got your competition, lovely. Your gun set up, right? Your scope set up. What about you? been driving for two hours and what have you, your back's aching a little bit and all that sort of thing. I'm not as supple as I used to be, I've got to be honest. So, positions you'll be in when you're shooting HFT. First one, prone. Get used to it. Get it into your shoulder, get nice and comfortable. Get used to lying down and being able to move around, yeah? Again, you have to be a bit supple. So, that's prone. What about kneeling? Here's the kneeler, so I'm nice and comfortable. We're going to go more in depth about this later, but there you go, that's how I do a kneeler. Wrist is nice forward of the knee. There's your kneeler. The stander. Now this is everybody's favourite. Well actually, funny enough, it is my favourite. And I do loads and loads of standards, but again, we'll go into depth about this later on. So, your standing shot. It's a tricky one, but as I said, we will cover it more later on. Prone, kneeling, standing. There's your three that you need. Now you've got two minutes per shot. Do you need two minutes? Some do, I don't really. I get in position, I get comfortable. I think about what I'm doing, I go, right, lovely. Don't rush the shot, because if you're kneeling and you're uncomfortable, you're gonna miss it. And boy, do I miss kneelers and standers all the time, because I rush them. You've got it in your mind. Oh, it's a stander, it's a stander. Don't worry, it's a stander. Don't worry. Practice, practice, practice. We've talked about this before. Two minutes a shot. 35 seconds, 40 seconds, say. Get comfortable. Look at the target. Look through your scope. Look at the target. Make sure your ranges. Now, we've talked about ranges and range finding. You know how far it is. The maximum is 35 yards. That's all it is in HFT Masters. We don't go any further than that, obviously. 35 yards. Is it 35 yards? It's 30 yards. Okay, comfortable. Slowly slip the shot. Easy, two points in the bag. We will have more from the rubber-legged late next time. And if you want to get involved with HFT Masters, go to hftmasters.net. Now, someone else who likes to put his body through the ringer, it's David with Hot Air. This is Hot Air. Do you fancy shooting air guns naked? Nude Fest will be held in Somerset this year and includes an air gun range among other activities. The festival is being held at a four acre lakeside campsite near the town of Langport. The British Air Gun Championships took place at Bisley at the end of February. A close fought final saw Ken Parr from Croydon win the 10 metre senior men rifle, while Katie Gleesno from Oldingbourne won the women's prize. Gorg's Geeky won the 10 metre senior women's pistol event and Christian Callaghan the 10 metre senior men pistol. The Scottish Government plans to criminalise air gun ownership by December the 31st this year. The owners of the 500,000 air guns in Scotland face up to two years in jail unless they apply for a licence in the six months running up to the ban. Nicola Sturgeon's government has made no provision in Scottish prisons for the air gunners she plans to arrest in 2017. Air Arms has appointed a new ambassador. A keen air gun hunter, Eddie Jones, has nearly 40 years shooting experience. And finally, the mayor of a Dutch city insists that his special squirrel bridge is not a complete waste of money. The Hague spent £120,000 building the bridge for squirrels to cross a busy road, and so far it's recorded five squirrels using it. That works out at £23,500 per squirrel. Another councillor points out that taxis for the squirrels would have been cheaper. 
you are now to date with hot air. Aiming for accuracy, targeting the truth. Thank you, David. Next up, Roy has a rat problem, but it's nothing his FX Royale Night Sight combo can't cope with. We are now back out on the rats. Um, as you know, I'm really, really unkeen on these little beasties, but. We've got the FX with the microscope on top, and we've got the Night Sight Eagle on top of that. And it's uh, proven to be quite a nice little setup. So, what we're going to do is we've got a couple of little feed stations that the rats have been coming into. We're going to go and tuck ourselves up by the side of the building there and just sit and wait and just turn all the lights off. So, it shouldn't be long until they start coming out, and we should start seeing a bit of activity. I'm going to stay very close to David, just in case one runs a bit close. Sorry. <laughs> it just fell down the hole, but he was definitely dead. Excellent. That is the one that we've been waiting for. That, that was a trophy rat. <laughs> a big, big rat. He was actually very, very clever. And it was almost as if he was picking up the IR then, because when I had the elimination right up on the food pile, he bolted. We've got the little ones coming out and feeding still, so now we've got him we'll trying to clear up the little ones over there. God, I hate rats. Be interesting to see how long it's going to take now for him to come back out of the little ones to come and start playing again. shot that one it was um, back onto us but it won't live for very long but pellet will run all the way through that so, another one down but that wasn't a bad little session i'm going to carry on because uh, i think there's going to be a few more show up but unfortunately david has now run out of juice so we have no batteries left it is everything is going and i think david's pretty much there as well so uh, i'm going to carry on and we'll see how many more we can get but yeah for a nice little 40 minute session, that worked really well. <laughs> Thank you, Roy. Now, we all love our air rifles, but Jamie Chandler, well, he likes his more than is healthy. Spring is, well, almost here. The sap is rising and it seems love is in the air. The rabbits down on the farm have been extremely busy and the birds are definitely in love. Ah. Oh well, our hands-free hunter Jamie Chandler has something he wants to get off his chest. I'll tell you what, I don't know much about having an affair. I'd, uh, I'd be a terrible person to have an affair with. I'd be terrible at it. I'm not very good with secrets and all that sort of stuff. But uh, as far as affairs go, this thing, this is fantastic. We've had uh, walks in the woods. We've had romantic cuddles. We've shared experiences like that poor pigeon. It's, um, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, I'm definitely falling in love. 
I feel very bad for the R10, but I think, as I said before, there's a, there's a place for, for the three of us in, in my world. Whether, whether they can live together, I don't know. Um, it's going to be very difficult to give this back, much to my wife's horror. He is completely smitten with the BSA Scorpion SE, but is it nice and tight when it comes to the groupings? Five shots under a 5p piece in this sort of wind, that's not too bad at all. More accurate than Cupid's arrows, with the long, sleek, cold hammer forged barrel, curvy ambidextrous stock and thrusting bolt action, all upholding the BSA pedigree and high standards of manufacturing, who wouldn't be? I think uh, her and I are going to go home, maybe have some hot chocolate, watch Titanic, get some tissues, maybe share a packet of hobnobs, who knows, see where we go from there. If you would like to know more about the Scorpion SE, then pop along to bsaguns.co.uk. Well done, Jamie. Now, from Hampshire to the rest of the world of air gunning on YouTube, it is air streaming. Charlie Jacoby here. This is my roundup of the best air gunning on YouTube. Corvid Hunter is out with his BSA R10 and Shot Track HD gun camera. He's after ferals around a farmyard. Meanwhile, Andy's Range is off for a mooch with his Matt Winsor tuned HW 97KT. This is a film he first put out on the Squirrel Hunter channel. In the USA, Air Gun Hunter Extreme channel shows what air gun pest control is like on their farms. He is after ground squirrels. Here is a nice little promo for Crossman. We are at the ATA show in the USA trying out the Benjamin Pioneer Airbow, made by Crossman and 10-year-old Chelsea Robin Hood's charity now and Vermin Hunters TV is raising money for military veterans. Here is a clip advertising the event in August 2016. Now the gun trade show Ewa and the airgun YouTube channels were out in force. Here is Matt Dubber from Air Arms Hunting SA looking at the new FX Streamline. Airgun Gear Show went to the Air Arms stand and took a look at its new bullpen up the Galahad that's getting the popular air gun press all a lather, and the manufacturers themselves were proud of what they had on offer at the German show. Umarex provided a daily news service from the show. This is day three. Links to watch the videos are in this film's description. If you would like to send in a video for air streaming, ping me the link, charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv. Well, that's it for this episode of Airheads. We're back in a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. See you then.